what is going on everybody uh just out for a ride this morning trying to get one in as you can see uh we got some rain coming in later so just trying to get out and ride while i still can uh the one thing i did not want on a ride is to get stuck behind a tractor trailer but it happens such is life just hope he's not going the same way i'm going up here um but I just wanted to uh, talk to you a little bit about the bike. Uh, my thoughts so far on this SV650. Is it a good bike for a beginner rider? A lot of people say it is. A lot of people say it isn't. I personally, with, with my experience so far, I do think this is actually a good choice for a new rider. Um, just like anything, you, you need to have some sort of throttle control. So that that's one of the big pluses at least as far as um my my experience has been because it is brand new so i can't just get on it well i could but you know i really i can't just get on it and and wide open and here we go and you know do something stupid and fly straight off the edge of the road so that i can't do uh but everything else, it, it, it rides nice. I, I feel like it handles really well. Again, being a new rider myself, I, I don't have uh, experience to base it off of anything else. So being my first time, this is what I know. Um, actually, next month in June coming up, there is um, a Yamaha demo days coming up that I'm going to go ride... Uh, going to go try out a couple bikes hopefully the one thing i really want to ride um which i'm sure they'll have it is uh mt07 that was actually one of the other bikes i was uh looking at getting oh nice So that, that's one of the other bikes I was looking at other than this, uh, MT-07, and uh, the other one was uh, Kawasaki Z650. I mean, and if you're looking, you know, a, a standard naked bike um, in this size range, those are the three you're going to be looking at is uh, the, the Kawasaki, which I, I actually almost bought one, um, and it actually got sold on my way to the dealer, so... It was a used one. Uh, it was a uh, 2019, had 1,400 miles on it, so didn't have to worry about the break-in or anything, which I was looking forward to. It had um, the trans, the whoever bought it originally had the transferable extended warranty with it, so I, you know, I was uh, definitely looking forward to uh, to that, and plus the price difference too, uh, new versus the used price. I, I was looking forward to saving a couple bucks on my first bike and you know the haul while it's not going to be brand new so I if, if I drop it which granted it wasn't dropped before I had it so oh is it this road I don't think it is I think it's the next road coming up here yeah it is it's going to be the next road or a couple roads maybe uh so you know but that that's what i was looking at and and with me i have a short inseam um i have a 30 inch inseam so i, I didn't want anything too big um I, I was looking for something small and i've figured this I, I didn't want to get a 300 actually I, I was looking at um uh like one of the klx 300s um because again that was right now i don't know where you where you were watching this from and how um how it is with you guys but around here trying to get a new bike is impossible um the dealer had an mt07 coming in uh, I, I didn't like the color on it I wanted a different color so I asked about getting one ordered and I was told yeah we can order it for you we have no idea what it's gonna be here could be here in a month could be here in two three 
you might have it this summer you might not it might show up the middle of the winter we don't really know um because the bikes that they had coming in which i was kind of waiting for a couple of them because i wanted to go sit on them see how i fit on them they were originally due in in march and then that march date and these were ones they already had on order too uh it was march that march date got pushed back to april the april date got pushed back to may um they, they just didn't know when when the bikes were going to be coming in so j just like a lot of other things there's a you know the the shortages there's a shortage on bikes um it, it, i mean that's kind of a bad way to put it it's not like it's the bike's fault um the, the shortage actually what it is is uh the, the microchips and some of the other uh electronical components that they need to be able to actually build the bikes is what the problem is so uh i happened to find a local dealer that had this in stock i sat on it uh, i kind of always wanted it an sv 650 so turn in here because that guy in that Tahoe was up my ass so so I figured this is a good spot just to turn in um but yeah so anyways j just like everything else it's, it's, it's hard to find what you want especially if you're looking for like a new car um it, it, it's the same kind of deal right now It is hard to find them. So, so I got lucky enough to have one, find one of these in stock. And it happened to be the ABS model, which I, I did as, as a new rider, I did want the ABS. Um, that was something one of the other dealers, um, the other dealer that already had an order of bikes coming in, they had one coming in, they had an SV coming in, but it was not the ABS model. So. Well, there you go. So, so I got lucky enough to find this. And here we are today. Um, but yeah, so again you know if you're looking for a new bike and and depending on what you're looking for uh best advice is if if you can if the dealer has a variety of them you know sit on as many as you can see if you find one that actually that that you're comfortable with that you you know you can with, with me again because like i said i have a short inseam so i wanted something i was going to be comfortable and and could easily touch the ground on and and even with this i mean i'm still kind of like tiptoes on this but I, I can very easily flat foot uh, on, on the one side w without a problem, without it leaning over too much. So, just crack my visor here if I can. So, yeah, but just try try a lot of bikes. And um, was not expecting this road work. This kind of messed up my plans so so just keep that in mind with with new bikes you know try out a lot see what you feel comfortable on um i didn't really want a cruiser oh well, this is gonna be fun yeah now this is an experience right here and it sucks because i'm gonna have to go back this way So, so 
So, anyways, a uh, new rider riding on milled, a milled surface here. Kind of glad it's slow. Um, I don't want to hit this edge here. It's actually quite a big blip. I'm actually going to see if I, uh, I'm going to find a different way to go home. So I don't want to come back and sit in all this again. I am not at all familiar with the area. And I'm pretty sure I actually missed the turn to where I was going. Actually, no. No, because it should... I shouldn't have missed it yet, actually. Shouldn't have missed it yet. I just want to get off this milled crap. Sucks. Uh, that might actually have been the road I was looking for. Shit. Damn, how long does this shit go on for? Well. Alrighty. Uh, I think we are going to call it for today. Uh, and until the next one, stay safe out there. And I hope everyone has a fantastic day. And I'll see you in the next one.